Character Creator 3 by Reillusion has finally arrived, and this is my video of my first impressions. Let's start with the installation process. So once you get your serial number or download email, you just head over to your account. And uh, one of the things that I noticed is you have to install Character Creator 3 first, and only then you are allowed to install the pipeline extension. So make sure you install those in, in this order. And then I still have some problems installing the uh, morph package and the clothing and fabric uh, package. And it tells me that there's some problems with serial numbers, but that is something that I would expect on day one of the release. So this hopefully will be sorted very soon and I should be able to ex access all the extra content that has now been made compatible with uh, Character Creator 3. Now let's jump into the actual tool. For anybody familiar with Character Creator 2, the interface will look very familiar because most of the functionality is still in the same place. And there's only the extra goodies that come with Character Creator 3 that you have to find and use. For example, here, InstaLOD as one of the major additions where you can reduce polygon count, remesh merge materials, etc. Assembling your character is really easy, very intuitive. You just choose a base mesh or maybe some different bodies and, and head shapes. Choose some hair, teeth, eyes, and then you can go over and assemble some clothing items. I just really used some very basic sort of stock content. I haven't even morphed the character yet, which you can make adjustments to over here. But this is really just a very basic character to show you uh, just the basic functionality of how this moves over to Unity and what it looks like. Now, instead of having to deal with 3D Exchange as a sort of intermediary uh, program, you can export straight to FBX and use the character in Unity. The export window here gives you the option to use InstaLOD, but first you have to make some choices to your target tool set. In our case, we want to export to Unity, so you just choose Unity. You can also open this window up here, or click on this button, and make some choices here, but it's all pretty uh, self-explanatory. You want Unity Texture, Merge Opacity to Diffuse Texture, uh, Normals for OpenGL, and your Y axis is up. You have the option down here for deleting hidden mesh. And you want to embed the textures. InstaLOD is chosen over here in this window, and you have the option for either remeshing the character, choosing the number of LODs, and then you can adjust the uh, quality and the complexity of each of those LODs. You can choose up to five LODs. Or you can just merge materials and bake all of your textures and materials into one atlas. Once you're ready, click on export, and the character will be ready in Unity in just a moment. Here you have our character in all its glory. On the left side is the individual character, and here those three versions are LOD1, LOD2, and LOD3. Next, let's look at the complexity. LOD1 is about 10,000 vertices, and it is just a single mesh. LOD2 is 4,200 vertices, LOD3, 1,900 vertices. But you have full control over your target complexities. When you look at those LODs, you have your combined mesh, and then your root object and your, your uh, rig for animations. The full character has individual items for all the clothing. And since we selected to delete the hidden mesh, Underneath the clothing items, you can see here that we have this optimization done automatically for us. The hair is also separate. So for all of these separate objects, you can obviously use different shaders uh, to make them look even better. One problem that was uh, immediately uh, visible for me is the eyes, because both eyes are just a single object, which will not work with tools like Final IK, where you want to have some look at behavior. I'm not sure whether there's an option in the program here somewhere to export individualize. If there's not, then I'm sure that's something that Reillusion can fix in an upcoming patch or, or new version. So I'm not too worried about that at this point, though it would be a deal breaker for me for some projects. 
Okay, now there's uh, some little issues with uh, importing. Namely, here you can see that there's a different texture for the, the different pans. And that is because I have multiple Real Illusion characters in this scene, and here in the background somewhere. And uh, Unity was confused a little bit by the uh, same material names, so uh, it actually gave me a different shirt texture as well, so the characters looked slightly different. And I had to manually drag and drop some of the textures in, but that's not a big problem, and I'm sure that you can find a, a structure in your project with different material names that will make sense and that works for you. Overall, I have to say the visual quality of the character is great. We have the uh, normal maps already applied, and I'm really happy with the workflow. It seems very straightforward, very easy, and it really ticks all the boxes for me in terms of flexibility and in terms of all the different options that you have. Now, InstaLOD here with the uh, polygon reduction is absolutely necessary and uh, really makes this worthwhile. And compared to the previous workflow where you had to go through 3D Exchange, this is just a huge time saver, makes it so much easier to work with. So overall, I have to say I'm very happy with Character Creator 3 so far. I haven't really been exploring any of the details yet, but I will explain those and go into much more detail in upcoming videos. My next video will probably be a very first exploration of how to get that studio content into Character Creator 3. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.